Commence U.S. 40 Con, KBUB 141,259 PNHBUB. Tornadoes and tornado safety. This is Colorado Severe Weather Awareness Week, a time when the National Weather Service reminds you of the hazards associated with thunderstorms. The topics being discussed today are tornadoes and tornado safety. The threat of tornadoes increases rapidly across eastern Colorado beginning in April as heat and moisture in the lower atmosphere become more abundant. Although the greatest threat of tornadoes in Colorado occurs from May through early August, tornadoes can and do occur during other months. Now is the time to review your tornado safety procedures. Tornadoes have occurred at every hour of the day, but almost 90% occur between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. While tornadoes have been reported statewide, by far the largest number developed in the eastern Colorado plains along and to the east of Interstate 25. About 90% of tornadoes are considered weak, with winds under 110 miles an hour. Winds of this magnitude will damage a wood frame construction home, but may completely destroy a mobile home or an outbuilding. They typically have a shorter lifespan of 5 to 10 minutes, and result in less than 5% of tornado fatalities. About 10% of tornadoes are considered strong with winds up to 165 miles an hour. Winds of this magnitude will cause considerable damage to most buildings. These tornadoes may last over 20 minutes and travel greater distances and are responsible for nearly 30% of all tornado deaths. Violent tornadoes account for only 1% of all tornadoes, but they result in nearly 70% of all tornado fatalities because they destroy much of what is in their path. Violent tornadoes can last over an hour and travel over 50 miles before dissipating. The only chance of surviving a violent tornado is to be inside a safe room or underground shelter. An easy phrase to remember for tornadoes is to get in, get down, and cover up. Get inside a sturdy building, get down to the lowest floor or most interior room in the building and cover your head. The best option for tornado safety is to be inside a well-built structure in a basement, safe room or an underground storm shelter. If none of these options are available, move to a hallway or small interior room on the lowest floor. Usually this is a closet or bathroom. The greatest risk of injury from tornadoes is from flying debris. Cover yourself with blankets or get under a heavy piece of furniture. Modular homes offer little protection from tornadoes. If a tornado approaches, leave these locations and seek safety in a nearby building or storm shelter. If you are driving in open country and see a tornado, if time permits, the best thing to do is simply drive away from the tornado path. Do not take shelter beneath a highway overpass. Wind speeds may actually be higher in these areas and are often collection points for debris. If you are in an automobile and a tornado is fast approaching with little time for action, either remain buckled in your vehicle and crouch down, or abandon your vehicle and lie in a ditch or culvert away from your vehicle and protect your head. If you are caught outside and cannot find a safe shelter, crawl into a culvert or lie down in a narrow dry ditch and cover your head. But remember that the worst place to be when a tornado threatens is outside in flying debris. Remember, you can get the latest weather forecast and severe weather watches and warnings from a local no all hazards weather radio station. Severe weather information is also available from your local National Weather Service on the internet at www.weather.gov. Colorado, Rio Grande County in South Central Colorado, 
for Wanch County in Central Colorado. Teller County in Central Colorado. Until 10.30 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. This is a test message. This is a test message. All towns, cities, and rural areas in South Central and Southeast Colorado are included in this test message.